and Andrew is massing his mutilus because he knows that this is an air map and Wookie seems to have placed an observer there and an observer here but my overlord caught it so my mutilus attacked it he seems to have placed it right over there so I'll just slow this down a bit right now see some of my scourges not sure if they got any mutilus kills over there but I don't know. Doesn't seem that the Wookiee is getting much vision from this one observer, as you can see from this radius. I think the only thing you can see is this faint outline of this supply depot being built. And I am getting the Overlord movement speed upgrade. There we go. I seem to be doing very, very bad on my macro, as you see. have tons of minerals. So is Alec. And not as much Andrew. And Wookie, has, he has way too much Vespin gas, and he is just massing carriers, and he do not, he does not have nearly as enough workers, and I'm Flying some scourges around. Guess I saw those marines and decided to back away and scout Wookie's base some. And just harass some overlords. I seem to be making more scourges for more harassment. And I've massed some hydralisks for anti-air defense. There we are. So, oh, we see some action here, so I'll just slow it down for us. Trying to avoid his space so he wouldn't see them coming. He has some devourers here. Andrew probably doesn't see me. That wasn't very smart of me, only running into two overlords with six scourges because I could have taken out three. I have an overlord. And we're massing our units right now. And I'm getting a really late hive. So I'll just speed this up again until I see further action. We see a ghost here. And he is cloaked currently. Kevin has a nuclear silo with one nuke, so we might see a nuke and see a battle here. Some Valkyries and Scourges. The Bowers are actually really strong because their acid score slows down attack speed and does more damage per acid spore stack. Kevin's ghost is right over here. He seems to have terrible macro right now. Kevin is not building anything at all. He's Yeah, he's not building anything at all. It's almost like as if he's away from the keyboard. AFK. And Andrew. He, he is doing extremely well on his maker. It's probably because he is making devourers, which are extremely expensive and very effective against air units. And the Wookiee, he has... 
he still has some bad macro and we see some Valkyries over here. Which are extremely good against air because they have splash damage and like here I come from the back into his devours. Seem to be just retreating right now. And here comes a dropship by Kevin. I don't know where it's going, and here are some observers. Uh, I honestly don't have any idea what happened to that compsat station because I missed it. But it apparently is on fire right now, and here goes a group of race. Race just massed over there, and in my base, I just have oh, Mutalis turning into a Devourers and pretty good macro right now. And the amount of Hydralis, Hydralis still look the same, and I'm getting some Guardians which are extremely good against ground units because. Their range is probably like from here to like here. Like it can out snipe anything. It has the furthest range in the game, I think. And Kevin seems to be making some units now. And he still has that nuke, but he have not used it yet. And I it looks like I've met made a force expansion into the outside world. Yeah, okay. I'll just speed this up again. Because I really don't want to render a um, one hour video. Okay, so... Okay, here's some action. Okay, well, my spur just basically took down that... Uh, what's it called? That carrier in one hit. And then my devourers just finished it off. Just waiting for Andrew's devourers to come along with this. Here it comes a Race are very good anti-air units, so... And they're cloaked, which makes them, of course, untargetable unless they're near a detector. And he seems to be... Hmm. Harassing some zerglings now. And I have a guardian, but... It got leaked. Andrew has an overload right over here so he can see those invisible.